Welcome back to another watch video everybody and this is another rubbish opening shot if you want to call it that. Um, I've just got myself a coffee before I kick this off and we have a look at this uh, Citizen Dive watch. Uh, but this is my Repton 2, oh no not Repton 2, Repton 3 uh, cup from the uh, 1980s. This is from 1986, I've got two of them. These were promotional cups uh, for the game Repton 3 by Superior Software. Um, kind of a rocks and diamonds, maze, squash the monsters, collect them kind of game there. Uh, very much in the same vein as Boulder Dash, uh, Tim Tyler, who I've communicated with in the past, really, really nice guy who wrote Repton and Repton 2, uh, assured me that uh, he'd never played Boulder Dash or really had ever seen it. This was his own idea for this game, but nice guy, Tim, uh, Tim Tyler, uh, really, really nice guy. And yeah, so managed to track these cups down. These were found in a warehouse somewhere. Uh, the guy who, who was selling these had a box of about 50 of them so I picked up two of them for breakage uh, reasons anyway there you go retro cup um, you know I love the retro games and stuff like that so yeah BBC Micro originally an Acorn Electron Repton 3 there I think it came out on the Spectrum and the Commodore 64 and everything after that but there you go anyway let's move on let's have a look at the watch otherwise I'll get a lot of comments saying I thought this was a watch video let's get on with it Right, so as I say, everybody, on to the watch. We'll have a look at this and see, see what it's all about. So this is actually a Citizen Promaster Aqualand model number BN2038-01. L Oil, for quick reference there. Um, yeah, this, this particular watch, um, I got this in a little bit of defiance, to be honest with you. I'd had this on my watch list for quite, watch, watch list for quite a while. And um, been uh, checking the, the Citizen uh, website on and off uh, to see when it was going to arrive sort of thing. And it turned out that it was just going to arrive as I was being made redundant. One side of me inside was screaming, Sharky, save the money just in case. The other side of me was saying, well, you've saved up for it, lad. So just pick up the damn thing and, you know, take it as a kind of, um, like a redundancy kind of compensation, um, you know, gift, if you will. So you know what I'm like for stroking things here. <laughs> if, Brody, if I'm not stroking Brody, I'm stroking the watch. Um, so, yeah, I, I got it uh, basically in a little bit of defiance as a kind of a, a middle finger up to the the old job that I was made redundant from to be honest with you and uh, I'm glad I did because I really like it I intended making this video around about 16 weeks ago 17 18 weeks ago whatever it was when I was made redundant uh, to uh, because it had just come out basically and I thought well I'll get it done and uh, and, and we'll, we can we can move on and, and see if people like it or not but as usual I let it go a uh, bit depressed one thing and another but we're here now we're doing it now so that's what matters uh, you know great support from everybody across Twitch and positivity from YouTube which I really appreciate thank you very much everybody um, so yeah this particular uh, Pro Master here it's according to the website the details that I've got off the website the little bit that they've got on there is um, obviously it's water resistant down to two, 200 meters again very similar to the, the Seiko it's got a um, it's got a bezel though which is the minimum requirement for uh, this kind of watch you know the dive watches and stuff like that genuinely generally generally <laughs> command uh, a bezel of some sort as, uh, as minimum operation otherwise what use is it as a dive watch now this appears to me to be a 60 click bezel do you know when we did the bezel the other day on the uh, Seiko we said that was a 120 click very very solid this very smooth very nice doesn't need much force but it isn't loose in any way shape or form and of course the the blue and the, the red there uh, they call it the Pepsi the Pepsi bezel I've got a, a, a Seiko watch with the Pepsi bezel as well I'll do a video on that in the future very very nice I like it I like the the contrast between the two colors there 
it looks really good. Um, so basically, from from a, a functions angle, it's it's got a few few things going on. This now it's it, it's not got an alarm on it for for the time as such. It's got an ascent alarm on it uh, for divers. So again, as you know, I'm a self certified desk diver. Um, I, you know, this probably won't end up in a swimming pool at any particular point, let alone the bloody ocean. So I do like dive watches, even though I'll never actually really use the functions of a dive watch. Speaking of dive watches, guys, for anybody remotely interested, uh, I'm actually wearing the Casio Frogman today. Well, I say today, I've been wearing this all week. Um, another really, really nice watch there. I've got the earlier model of the Frogman as well. But it's uh, it's a nice watch. I'll do a video on that in the future anyway. Um, so it's it's got the, the the screw down crown there of course to stop you pushing buttons accidentally it's got uh, two buttons on the side here for uh, once for checking your previous depth and the other one is just for testing the alarm the ascent alarm basically probably before you go diving that is a depth sensor on the side there this is a water sensor because what happens with this particular watch is when this watch is exposed to water and then the depth sensor detects i think it's 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 a meter it might be three meters i'm not 100 percent sure guys it, it what it does is though that detects you in the water that then detects you you've gone below the water at a certain depth then of course the records kick in as it's uh, tracking what you're doing under the water sort of thing so when i say that let me just see if i can demonstrate this i should be able to so you can see the screw down on the button there and if I push that you see that little white hand that's just moved up to five past that is actually the 50 meter mark that so that is basically what the factory had set it at for the maximum record of the last dive if you will so I don't know if that's what they've kind of tested it to or something like that. I'd, I, it'd be tested to 200 metres, there's no doubt about it. But to test the actual recorded uh, depth, maybe that's what they do on to. Uh, so that is, yeah, that's, uh, that's 60 metres, that. And the maximum recorded depth uh, for this that it can go to for recording purposes is 70 metres, which is there. So basically, as you set off diving... The, the red marker there will start to move round as you're going deeper and deeper and then once you get to 70 metres then anything beyond that I think you, you, you're probably having to have a look at your dive computer uh, that you've got on your wrist or something and then basically as you ascend the, the red arrow will let you know what uh, your ascent is and of course using the bezel you'll be able to time your ascent as well and then the white marker so if you've been down to uh, 35 meters, 40, what, so on and so forth, you can, as I showed you, you can push that button there and see what your last depth was. Now, once you start diving again, that the following day, for example, that is uh, is reset. So then, if it, it takes your maximum dive on the new uh, dive and then records that for you as well, just for just for reference later on, sort of style. So again, you know, I'll never use that functionality, but it is. It is a dive watch, it can be used for diving. Again, once we've wrapped this up, if anybody's got any comments uh, about this watch, if you use it for diving, I'd be interested uh, to know what it's like as a dive watch. Um, again, some, some of the more advanced channels uh, around YouTube kind of demonstrate these, these dive watches uh, in the diving environment. I remember, I think one guy did the Squale 1521 and took it diving and showed you that he was using it uh, as its intended purpose. Really nice. Um, so you've got the date at the side there, little date window, and then just underneath the hour and the minutes hand there, you've actually got the battery indicator. So apologies that's being obscured at the moment, but um, yeah, that, that's gone quite high at the moment because I, I was wearing it the other week, and you know we've had a lot of sun uh, recently, amazingly. So I've been using it, and it's been charging, and it's Eco Drive. Uh, one of the Citizen Eco Drive watches here, so again. You don't really need to uh, to worry about a battery. Now, from a loom perspective, I'm not going to demo the loom because it doesn't really come out that good when you when you're doing a demo of the loom. I don't think. But basically, uh, you've got the nice green 
uh, indicators and then you've got like a teal on the on the dive arrow there so there's kind of a multi loom color thing going on here and as with the Seiko not quite as good as Seiko but no problem really telling the time uh, with this in the early hours of the morning uh, whilst you've been wearing it throughout the day and it's you know it's got some loom charge there really nice watch again for loom I've got four citizen watches in total and um, they're all good on the loom in one way or another really really nice again I'll probably show you some of those watches in the future and uh, see what you think sort of thing so yeah a really really nice watch uh, again use some comfort here um, I, I, I've I've, I've wore it, I, I've, I, like I say I rotate my watches, uh, normally keep it on for about a week when I do wear it, in fact I was thinking of wearing uh, my other Seiko divers uh, for a week, the, the other one that's got the Pepsi bezel, but you know something, I think I might put this on today, I might put this on now, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll do a wrist shot of this uh, shortly. And we'll have a we'll have a t you know we'll have a talk about it as well. Uh, due to the size of my wrist, you can have a see what it looks like. 18, 18, 18 centimeter, no, oh, seventeen and a half, eighteen centimeter wrist. I've got for reference uh, for anybody interested. But yeah, it's got this uh, silicon strap here, which is obviously the stock strap. Nice kind of citizen branding there on the clasp as well if you can see that of course uh, the back of the watch is very nicely etched as well and it's again it's quite thick and there's a weight to it you know we're talking about weight with the Seiko there's a weight to this as well a really nice weight you know they could line it with bloody lead just for feel like you've got a little bit more uh, for your money but um, yeah I'm very happy with this overall it's um, really nice enjoy wearing it that's the thing if you enjoy it that your, your money's well spent if I'm going to use it as a, a diver then uh, that's a, that's a big bonus basically so as usual like I said the bezel there we'll, we'll use that to time the chicken uh, when, <laughs> when it's in the oven um, right okay let's just uh, let's just get this on the wrist and uh, we'll see what it looks like so here's kind of a, a wrist shot for you um, I have tightened it up a little bit here, but it's pretty warm in here as well, so normally I find when I'm wearing a watch, probably like everybody, I just let it in and out a hole sometimes, just, uh, you know, depending on how tight it feels on my wrist, but it doesn't feel tight at all, it's very, very comfy, little bit of stretch and, and give in the, in the silicon strap there, and uh, again, you know, people, a couple of people have said, what's with the Mickey Mouse gloves, Sharky, what's going on? Well, that's a good reason there. I've got a scr uh, scratch that's healing nicely on my arm. I've got scratches along the back of my hands, scratches on my knuckles, and it's because I keep getting drawn into a fight with Brody, and then he rips me to bloody shreds, so it's my own fault. So I don't want you seeing my bloody manky scratched hands on the on the stream here, on the on the video, I should say, on the stream. There's the Twitch thing kicking in again. So, um, yeah, that's it on the wrist. Like I say, 17 and a half, 18 millimetre centre millimetre <laughs> 18 centimetre uh, wrist so yeah basically as I was saying there I'm going to leave this on now probably wear this over the course of uh, the next week I think this will be my, my watch for a week or a few days I'll see how I go on and see how I feel always nice to uh, chop and change it around really really nice so enjoyment wise again I think you can tell by the video that I really like this watch um, it's it's very very nice very very comfortable again love the brush steel around the sides you've got some some polished stuff going on here you know around the bezel it just gives it that bit of pop kind of thing but I like the brushed steel I like the band uh, the stock strap if you want to call it that and um, yeah I do enjoy it and again you know saved up for it paid what I paid for it and it'll be in the collection for a long time I always make a, a list of uh, what I paid for my watches when I bought them what the serial numbers are I've got a, an Excel spreadsheet for putting stuff in like that so if anything ever happened to me in the future um, my wife would be able to have a look at that sheet and um, you know if she wants to get rid of anything it's easy for her then she can see what I paid and have a look at roughly what she can get sort of thing it's uh, they'll all be looked after 
I'm mortified if ever I get a, a, a ding on one of them or something like that. But again, it's worth it's tur, it's character. So don't want to do it on purpose, but when you pick one up, you've just got to think, well, let's move on. There you go, it's, it's got one of its lifetime scars to take with it now on its journey. And, uh, and away you go, sort of thing. So there you go, guys. That's the Citizen Promaster Aqualand BN2038-01L. As I say, really, really nice watch. Really enjoy it. Um, put a comment below if you've got any questions about it. Or if you own this watch, let me know what you think of it. And uh, if you do use it for diving again, let me know. And feel free to get in touch on Twitch. Uh, when I'm live streaming, if you've got any questions you want to ask live, when I'm live with the with the games and stuff like that, no problem whatsoever, we'll do our best to answer it. And get in touch on Discord as well. There's a few of us on there talk about our projects and hobbies and other bits and pieces. So it's, uh, it's interesting to keep up with everybody. And uh, thanks again for watching. Take care and uh, catch you all in the next video. Thank you.